Let's talk about the use of cricoid pressure, or uh, it's the, the technical name for it is the Selleck maneuver. So typically you take that cricoid cartilage, and what we want to do is press it down. By pressing it down, what that should do is you've got your trachea, you've got the esophagus below the trachea. Because that's a complete ring, you should be able to take and press that to kindly pinch off uh, the esophagus to prevent aspiration during uh, endotracheal intubation. It has evolved to be utilized. You know, you'll have someone up here doing a laryngoscopy uh, to do the intubation. They'll say, give me some cricoid, give me some cricoid pressure. And what they're, what they're wanting to do is take the more anterior airway and move it posteriorly so that it comes into their plane of view while they're performing the laryngoscopy and they've got the laryngoscope in the mouth and they're, they're visualizing cord. So they're hoping to drop that more anterior airway down in there. So that's how it's evolved over time. But the true use of cricoid pressure, or what's called the Selleck maneuver, is to take that cricoid pressure and press it backwards so that it pinches off the esophagus to prevent uh, vomitus and ultimately uh, aspiration of gastric contents.